Hey guys and girls, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of Hector 2 Alpha with myself, Lewis. Hope you're brilliant, have yourself a great day as always. We're back in my little dimension. I like starting here, it's a place where we can commune and talk about things. <laughs> so there's been a new alpha update, it's a very small one, but a couple of, uh, you know, quality of life changes. Poros is gone, which is great, so, you know, we've been asking for that since probably day one, so that's good that that's finally gone. Back to regular ores now, so at least you have a bit of a reason to go underground and see all those awesome wild caves and all the little glowing flowers and things that's good and uh legend gear 2 has been taken out but that's not anything to do with uh, the pack it's purely because the guy um i brought this up in my first report to iskandar saying that you might want to look at this but be careful because the guy isn't giving away any permissions at the minute um and when it got added i thought oh maybe iskandar's you know pulled the weight of the technics team but i'm guessing he just forgot about that and didn't check <laughs> But yeah, so uh, it's uh, there's a big old thing on there saying that you're not allowed to use it. So hopefully, once it's been changed and modified properly, because it's going to take some time for... Uh, it's not a complete mod, and uh, the mod author is very right in what he's doing, saying, you know what, it's not a complete mod, so I'd rather you guys not use it yet, as uh, chances are it's probably going to break more things than it's going to be, than it's going to do good, so once it's been sorted out, and once it's a full mod, hopefully he'll change his mind, and then we'll be able to start adding it into packs, and you'll have your legend gear back, oh yeah. As far as things getting added, we have Epic Siege mod, which has been added in, which, if you guys have played Blood and Bones, it's very much like that. So, you know, I don't really, uh, I'm not too sure what I think about this one, to be honest, I'm really experienced it properly. But if anything, if it's anything like Blood and Bones, then uh, it's a nightmare. Because, basically, what it does, it allows, like, creepers to blow through walls, things can climb stuff, ghasts and blazes can spawn in the overworld. It's just designed to make your life a living hell, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Which is one of those, you know, I don't really know how I feel about it, so if you guys have any uh, thoughts on it, then make sure to drop it in the comment section, but yeah, I'm not too sure yet, we'll see. <laughs> we'll have a play around first. The main thing I'm worried about is it, incre it increases the zombie uh, AI tracking, and uh, that already causes lag as it is, and the pack's fairly laggy as it is anyway, so we'll see how it kind of... You know, spans out. It could be fun. It could be a good laugh. We'll see. But today, what we're going to do is we're going to make our way to this building that I found. I was doing a little wander around because with the update, poor walls got removed. So there's a lot of uh, chunks that are missing random blocks. So I, you know, just walked off and uploaded up some new chunks. And I found this awesome place that we're going to go and visit today. And the reason it looks so awesome, I made some new uh, things as well. I'll show you these in a sec. The reason it looks so cool is because <laughs> when I was walking past, I saw this thing in the sky, and I was like, what is that in the sky? There's a thing in the sky. And, uh, yeah, you may you might realise at the minute that I have uh, resistance. I do, I have resistance. We're probably wondering why I have resistance. Well, that would be why, because there's a big old beacon right there. <laughs> I have no idea why that building has a beacon, but... I want it, <laughs> and I'm going to steal it, and I'm going to do everything possible to get my hands on it. <laughs> so I've made some arrows that are hopefully going to give us a helping hand, because these are fairly cheap. I made some penetrating arrows that require a little bit of redstone, so I don't have a clue what they do, but apparently they penetrate, and anything that penetrates is good to me, and you could take that one of two ways. And we also have the torch arrow, which fires out torches. My idea behind this is if we can't get close to a spawner, because I'm guaranteed there's not going to be good guys in there, is there, if it's going to you know, give us a free beacon, then uh, I want to try and stop those from spawning as fast as possible so maybe firing torch arrows we might be able to light the place up a little bit to stop that from going a little bit uh, backwards but that's that one and i've also got some itchy yellow hearts as well as the xp that we had and the books that we had i managed to enchant some of my stuff as well so i got protection on fawns i'd rather not have fawns but hey that's fine and uh, protection if you're on the boots plus the fire protection i haven't got enough xp i use pretty much all my xp to do that i have got some at the minute but we've just gone through the uh, spectre key so you know it kind of makes it invisible it's like the hearts if you have additional hearts they don't show until you take any damage it needs to do a little bit of an update but yes so i think what we're going to start with because i don't know which arrows is actually going to pick we're going to start with regular arrows until the point in which we find that we need them and then we'll go from there i was also going to make myself some potions of strength and then i realized that we can't use regular vanilla potion crafting so i think we have to use the project zulu one and i haven't properly looked into how that one goes so we will have to uh, check that one out but there's also things like skeletal snipers in this epic siege mod and uh, you know how i feel about skeletons <laughs> As it is. So having uh, skeletons that can uh, snipe you from many a miles away does sound uh, truly uh, horrific. So let's get rid of these guys first. 
Uh, they're just going to keep spawning. So I f what I want to try and do is... Oh, we got a guy now, haven't we? Let's go this way. I want to try and light these up with these things. I don't know if I can do it. You know, it's one of my mad little... Uh, I was like, oh, maybe I can try this out. It's probably going to not work, but I would like to give it a go anyway. So we should be able to launch that. Yes! All right, can we kind of get it on top? Oh, it disappeared. <laughs> that doesn't help! Come on, land on the spawner. No, 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 no. You need to go on the spawner. Well, it's kind of going everywhere but on the spawner. <laughs> it's doing the opposite to what I was hoping. But if we lay torches down... Oh, that one went on the spawner. Look, check that out. As long as we can lay those on there, that's all we need. What have I done to you, little man? I haven't annoyed you. We've been good friends this whole time. There's no need to go mental. Yes, what for? Alright, let's get out some bread. We'll uh, top ourselves up with some food. And then we're going to go and go mentally there. I don't think there's anything that stops... Uh, I, I, oh, that was a brilliant shot. I don't think there's anything that makes them break torches. There's some wood you can get in there that stops them from breaking torches. Oh, I like how that sets them alight. <laughs> I didn't know it did that. Alright, we'll just lay one there. There we go. Get rid of you. Oh, I really like that that does that much uh, damage as well as sets them alight. That's really cheap then, isn't it? Because you just need a torch instead of the flint that you require. So, yeah. I like. Oh, we got another one. Oh, this is the same one. If I can get one on that side as well. It kind of disappears when it lands on that. I think it might be on the back of it. I, just, I don't think we can see properly. Oh, let's spawn this in there as well. Can we get it? through that. Yes! Is this the best thing? <laughs> I'm just hoping it actually works. Okay, that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we got these sides as well. Get one on you. Get one around that side a little bit, maybe on the wall. Yeah! Maybe down here somewhere. I'll take that. And there's the creepers that can blow through walls. <laughs> they uh, can sense you from a fairly large way away, so... Whoa! We need to be careful. Why am I getting attacked by these midget guys? What did I do to you? Why are there so many of them? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know what I did to them, but I've really got upset, haven't I? <laughs> We're going to have to watch out for them. Maybe it's because of this place? I don't know. I don't know. Oh man, we got scallywags. Scallywags. Oh no, don't tell me those are my torches on the floor. Don't tell me you're breaking my torches. Those are my famous torches. Ooh. Okay, right, we'll try and get one in that. Yes. I don't know if they're going in. I don't know if this guy's breaking them, whether he's being a total pain in the butt and breaking my torches. It doesn't look like he is. I don't know. Let's go this way. And uh, we'll regain some heartage as well. All right. Yeah, give me some hearts. Lovely. Cool beans. All right. So I think the way in is like somewhere around here, maybe. Oh. Uh, I can hear more of those little guys. Oh, oh my God. He's a super powered one. What did I do to upset the little guys? Stay away! Stay away! Stay away! Stay away! <laughs> no! <laughs> Where have they gone? I think he's down there. Oh! Okay, we're good. Oh, no, there's more of them! Is it this place? Are we in some sort of weird dimension or something? What is this? An ominous woods. No, this is just a regular one. Maybe we just have to be very careful. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna uh, ooh, 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 ooh. we're gonna go and find ourselves the entrance to this place. There's blazes down there. We're gonna try and find the entrance, and we'll go from there. Ah, this looks like the entrance. Okay. Let's have you. These torch arrows are going to be pretty useless for us from now onwards. So let's switch out to regular arrows and penetrating arrows. I don't know which one it's going to actually use. So we'll have to wait and see about that. But we're... Uh, I think we've got this. I hope we've got this. Please say we've got this. Let's just, uh, you know, just break this with an apple. I really want that thing up there. 
And have I still got- I haven't. So I haven't got the buff that we had. Oh my lord. <laughs> no, 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 no. No spawning. Not today. Thank you. Very much. Thank you very much. Alright. Let's do all of this. Light all of this up. I think this is attached to a Doom-like dungeon. For some reason. There's like this. I think this is the thing that takes you down to a Doom-like dungeon. So I think... There's more guys here than there should be, and that's why my uh, why my FPS is like dropping below 30 here and there. So let's keep a wiggle on. Oh, I like how they can't get to. Oh my god, there's a spider on my head! I like how they can't get to me, but I can uh, get in there. Where did you come from? How did you get down? This is well and truly lit up. At least I would like to think it is. Okay. Have a bite. <sighs> Let's try and, uh, you know, do some deeps like this first. The more we can get rid of like this, the better, because then we can just run in and go deep, can't we? Alright, I'm going to say that's deep enough. Uh, oh my god, there doesn't need to be gravel there. <laughs> Oh, I love how that thing is still on the thing. The spawners, so I stopped them from spawning. That is amazing. The plans. The plans. Alright, let's get rid of you as well. There we go. Okay, okay. Recent developments between the villages of Kantos and Helenapos have improved relations between them. They are now very good. Oh, wow, well, would you? Would you look at that? Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, we're having a fair few guys coming down. I can't see what I'm doing. Let's just, uh, you know, let's do these guys. Okay, okay, let's lay some torches. Lay some torches. They're not interested in me. That's good. That's good. I don't know why they're not interested in me. <laughs> they're going somewhere else. Oh, oh, okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Just keep lighting up. Ooh. Oh, you missed. You missed right there. Keeping an eye on the hearts. Keeping an eye on the hearts. <laughs> the guys won't stop spawning. Okay, we might need to make a tactical retreat in a second. Just to get some health back. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, so far so well. We lit most of that place up, which is great. It's the zombies on the ceiling that are causing the biggest of the issues. When we get rid of those, we're going to be good. There we go. Okay. Oh my god, they're like a porcupine. <laughs> oh, 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 there's something invisible right there. I don't like the look of it. Is he gonna die? Oh, this is like an ultra hard one. Oh, we teleported. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? How's my armor doing? We're good. So my helmet's like going down. Oh. What has this got? I'm breaking? No. Alright, that's my last, like, arrow one. Come here. Come here. There we go. Alright. Should we give this another go? Should we take a golden apple? There we go. That's exactly what we need. Now we can go, like, full deep mode. Was that a witch? Please, for the love of God, tell me that was not a witch. No. Good. Alright. I can't... I can't figure out how I'm meant to get up there. <laughs> like, all these guys are coming down. I think we're just going to have to pile our way up there with bricks. And just beat guys as they come down. We've got, like... A semi-decent amount of bricks, haven't we? This could be, like, the worst idea going. Oh, my bejesus. 
There is a witch. I knew it. I knew there was a witch around here. Come here. Wicked, wicked, wicked. <laughs> We're having lots of guys spawning. <laughs> Surely this is more guys than there should be. Like, am I wrong in saying that this is way too many guys spawning? <laughs> oh, look, they're beating on the witch. Maybe now's the time to go up and do some deeps. Oh, we're a little bit stuck. Oh, oh. Okay, 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 okay. Just let me just quickly get some health back. Ooh. Oh, not you. <laughs> not you. You're not allowed in here. Alright, I think we're uh, kind of... Oh my god, my frames have gone down to like 15. I need to take one of these. <laughs> That's better. <sighs> Alright, let's get rid of all this rubbish that we don't want. Get rid of you, all of you, seeds and things. There we go. Why did all my torches just disappear? <laughs> did you see that? All my torches just disappeared. All right, we need to come up with a good way of getting onto this roof. Because at the minute, there's like 50 million guys up there. So it looks like it's going to be a little bit tricky. I've just realized why these zombies are paying no attention to me. <laughs> because they're not going after me. They're going after the... Uh, they're going after the torches. <laughs> They're trying to hunt down my torches. They'd prefer to kill the torches than they would prefer to kill me. I guess that's understandable. <laughs> torches are much a bigger threat than I am. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, you can stop that now. Thank you very much. Yeah, you guys just go over there and hunt those mysterious torches underground. <laughs> you don't want to come fight me. There's no need to come fight me. I'm just going to walk straight past you. You can do your thing. Whatever you're doing, you know, go hunt those torches. I'll just break these spawners. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. <laughs> okay, all right. I think they might have caught wind of me. No. No. Oh, oh, I want to really get rid of that one. There we go. All right, so we've pretty much got rid of like all the torches, which is good. We just need to now get onto the main roof. I got like a mob trap right here. <laughs> like there, there's, there must be an easy way up here that's not going to be a total pain in the butt to get to. I think the hardest bit is there's a, uh, there's a, what do you call it, an infernal mob up there that has that sticky ability. Now, I don't want to throw an ender pearl up there because that would just be a silly idea. But I think there's a thing up there. That's, uh, oh, that might be him. Did I get him? I think I might have just got him. Alright, let's start heading up. This, this could be a very bad... Oh my lord, there's diamond blocks! Give them to me now! Alright, we're gonna break some blocks. Ooh, hello there. I wonder if there's one on this side. Oh ho ho ho! Alrighty then. Alright. One down. Two down. Three down. And fall down. I'm super pleased about that. I don't believe we just found a room that has loads of diamond blocks. That is amazing. Alright, let's place down all these torches. 
There we go. Brilliant. We'll have a bite to eat. Let's fill up our loot bag, because this is one place that we should be putting all our stuff that we haven't. So we're going to place all of you in here. There we go. I'm going to... Uh, yeah, that should be fine. And we did get a loot bag from Formcraft. Gives me some coins and a splash potion of weakness. So you can all go in there as well. All right. And let's grab these. Because <laughs> we're cheeky. We're going to take the iron blocks, the gold blocks. We're going to take all the blocks. Yes. Oh, my. But Jesus, there's many of guys up there. I think we've just unleashed the pits of hell. All right. I love how he's... Pe is he actually here? He is. He's just more interested with the torch again. <laughs> Just ignore the guy that's going to beat all of you up. You know, if you want to go get that, you can go get that. Did I just get a load of blocks of emeralds? I did! Oh my god, that's amazing! Oh, hello there, you. You're not after the torches, are you? You know what you're meant to be doing. Ooh, he's a nasty fella. Okie dokie. So I think we are doing all right. I need to get up there. It looks like all of the blocks are, uh, or all of the steps or stairs or whatnot, whatever is meant to be a ladders, I think most of them are broken. And it is becoming daytime now, so those spawners up there should stop spawning if there is spawners up there. It did just become very quiet. I don't like it when it becomes quiet. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, look, they can't spawn because it's too light. Sweet. So we can just break you. And we can break you. <laughs> and we can break you. Do you know one thing that's really annoying? I think my beacon broke. I never got my beacon. Oh, wow. My armor is gone. What happened to the beacon? I wonder if some... I think something must have... One of the mobs must have blown up or something. Well, that sucks. I really wanted my beacon. That was the reason we came here. Well, at least we got four blocks of diamonds. We can't exactly moan about that. Still, I wanted my, uh, I really wanted my beacon. <laughs> oh, well. At least we know next time how to approach one of these. We just wait until it's daytime and then we just uh, climb up the top. <laughs> just go up the side. That's going to be the easiest way, isn't it? Because then you don't have to deal with all the mobs inside. And then you can get the diamonds from the top. So next time we come across one of these, we're just going to, we're just going to, like, pile ourselves up to the top. Take all the stuff from there. And then just run away. <laughs> I think that's going to be a good plan. I wonder when the uh, beacon broke, though. It must have been fairly early on. Because we didn't have the resistance thing from the beacon for some time, did we? But, you know what, I'm not going to deal with you. <laughs> but at least we managed to uh, get a buttload of diamonds from it and emeralds. Super pleased about that. So now we can go back to our spectre dimension. And we can drop all our things off. And we can get new armors and new stuff. I didn't actually look at how much experience I had. Um... Hopefully I had more than 30. I don't know. <laughs> because it, you know, it kind of, it doesn't show it here. But, yeah. I hope, actually, if I take one of these, it should show it again. Yeah, 40. Sweet. So we got a level 40 on that one as well, which is nice. And we've got ourselves 36 diamonds and 18 of those. Plus 45 iron ingots. So, overall, I'm going to call that a win. <laughs> 36 diamonds. Oh, yeah. So now we can make some good stuff. I really wanted... The reason I really wanted that beacon was not for the... Not for the beacon itself. Because what do I need the beacon for? We're a one-man traveling band. You know, we go around. We don't need no base. I wanted to make the sun gun, or whatever it's called. Uh, there's, a, there's a weapon. Like a rail gun. A sun ray that uses a beacon. And it's fairly cheap. If we have a look at the recipe for it, it's just a beacon, some obsidian, some redstone, some tripwires and whatnot, and some daylight sensors. And uh, 
it fires a beam that does like 14 to 20 damage and sets stuff on fire. It's pretty strong, but it doesn't take any fuel. As long as you're in the light, it recharges itself. So as long as we're in the like daylight, it's fine. So I like that. But we're not going to be able to make that because someone broke my beacon. <laughs> that sucks. Cool beans. Alright guys, well that's going to be that for today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, of course, you can drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe to see more. That is it for now. If you have any questions, make sure to drop it in the comment section. And if you have any uh, queries or any, uh, you know, anything that you'd like to add about the update, then feel free to drop it in there as well. I'll be checking it out daily. And uh, if anything's going to be good, you know, I'll, uh, I'll reply to you guys and uh, we'll have a little conversation and whatnot. It's going to be brilliant. <laughs> Alright, have yourself a great day. Have a good one as always. And bye-bye.